Okay, the last one we'll attempt to do today is this specific gravity problem. Um, so a hydrometer can be used to me measure the specific gravity of human urine. Normal urine has a specific gravity of 1.03. A characteristic of a patient diagnosed with Bright's disease is that his urine has a specific gravity of about 1.06. What is the density of each urine sample at 4 degrees Celsius? So the specific gravity of normal urine, we'll say NU, normal urine, is 1.03. And the specific gravity of Bright's is 1.06. And it asks, figure out what the specific gravity or the density of each of these is um, at 4 degrees Celsius. So remember, uh, the um, formula for specific gravity is the density of whatever you're measuring grams per mil um, over the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius in grams per mil. So if you remember, the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius is 1.00 grams per mil. So if you know the specific gravity and you know the density, you just rearrange this equation to figure out what the density of um, the uh, two samples are. So in order to do this, you're going to have to multiply both sides by the density of water. And that'll cancel that out. So you got the specific gravity times the density of water here. So the density of the normal urine is going to be the density of water times the specific gravity of the normal urine and the density of the brights is going to be the density of water times the specific gravity of the brights. So when we do that, we get 1.00 grams per mil times normal urine, 1.03. And the Bright's one is, again, 1.00 grams per mil times 1.06. And that gives you the density of each one of these. So you just, one grams per mil, so you just add them the grams per mil onto the end. So normal urine density, 1.03 um, grams per mil, and the density of Bright's, 1.06 grams per mil. Okay. So hopefully that was pretty straightforward. Again, you got to remember how to rearrange these equations. If not, if you're having trouble with that, go back and Remember how to do it. Okay, so cool. That's it for today.